Hey y'all, Pop Scooper, LivingCooper.com. Look what Pop's got. Welcome back to this episode two of the Vespa series. I got a Vespa. Nana thinks we need to give it a name. I don't know, comment, leave comments what the name should be. I have no idea. But until then, we'll just call it the Vespa. So you saw the first episode. I didn't really get a lot done. I got the little helmet hook put on and I got the bulk of the electrical harness run. But all the pieces and parts were in tubs and they wasn't really sorted. All the, we had some hardware kits and all the labels came off. So Nana and I spent uh, pretty much all of yesterday sorting and organizing the parts. So at least we got them break, broken down into different sections as you can see. And then yesterday evening I kind of went back over the electrical system. So that's kind of what I'm going to look at right now is the electrical. And it's a little bit different. I talked about the Vespa Motorsport guys is they got great videos on uh, rebuilding the P200, but their wiring harness was a little bit different than mine. They have a book on their website and it's, I don't even remember what it's called. I think it's made, written by a guy named Mark Paxton. It's like a $50 restoration book. And the books that I have, these are, like I said, this was kind of a dual project, inherited project. But the books that I'm using for this are the Haynes Manual, Piaggio Catalog of Spare Parts, and then this is a service station manual amendment, number one. And then, of course, the service station manual. So that's kind of what I've been using. Now, the, the wiring diagram for this particular model is, is it's it's good in the service manual but you really kind of need the amendment because the colors on this wiring harness do not match and in fact the wiring harness did not match the, the gas from Vespa Motorsports either and I guess it's because of the year that they were restoring versus the year that this is it was a little bit different on the wiring harness but the best schematic that I have is in this service manual amendment so that's kind of what I used to figure out what, what was going where. Between that and the old wiring harness, I was able to figure it out. And you should have seen if you watched episode one, I pulled the bulk of the harness through, but I had to figure out what was going where. And so I spent time tracing that out. So today I'm gonna to finish pulling this stuff up that, that comes out the, the top of the, I don't know what you call that, the body steering shaft, handlebar shaft, I don't know what they call it. And then we'll get this stuff pulled in the back here different uh, wiring sections. Also, hopefully I'm gonna get these body grommets in where the different wires will pull through. That's the plan today. So once I get that done, I don't, I'm not sure where I'm gonna go after that because I'm waiting for some other parts to come to the mill for the floorboard and this, uh, I guess, body molding that, that goes around the edge here, this body edge molding. Uh, I have the floor rails, but I need this edge molding. So I'm going to just kind of tinker along and see how far I get. So I'll keep watching and let's, let's move forward. Here we go, let's take a look at this wiring harness. So the Vespa guys at Vespa Motorsport in their video, their wiring harness had only one bundle that ran up through the steering column. That's what it's called, the steering column housing. But my harness has two sets. So I'm going to try to run this up. I figured out which goes to which set on the handlebar. So I'm going to run these up in there and I'll show that to you. With their single bundle, they ran it up on one side of the steering column behind the steering lock. But with me, I'm gonna run one up one side and one up the other side. So there'll be on both sides. And then they also ran your turn signals. Here's your two turn signals. You got a left turn signal and a right turn signal. This goes to what they call the clamp board, which will go right here in the front. And I'll show you that. And then here's your horn wires. So that's that's all the pieces for this front part of this harness right here. I got a piece of piece of wire that I'm gonna run down through here and hopefully it's gonna help me fish these up in there. We'll see. In their video they said that you know it's hard to, to get those up in there with these little tabs. So you kind of bend them back down like this and then you'll pull on one, pull up one, pull it up through, and then you'll be able to reach down in there with some needle nose and pull those out. I had this figured out that this bundle right here that has the the I guess the black with the three terminals jumper together and then it's got the orange green brown I'm sorry the white with red green brown and double white so this one here I'm going to try to pull up all on this one side for this side over here this should go to the right side of your steering uh, handlebar handset handlebar set whatever they call it so this one's I'm going to pull up on this side and this other one, I'm gonna pull up on this other side and it's got the gray, white with green white that are in the single terminal, red and violet. 
and purple. So to do that, like I said, I'm gonna run this piece of wire down. And there's our wire. And I'll put a little hook on it. And this is just a number 12 wire, so it's pretty malleable, so hopefully this will work. I'm going to hook it right in here in this black wire. I don't know if you can see that, how well you can see that. And I'm gonna hook it right in there and then see if we can pull this stuff up through. All right, let's see if I can get these through, these needle holes. Okay, so there's the right side. Okay, now I'm gonna do the same thing and try to pull this left side up through. So we'll see how this works. That worked out way easier than I thought. Okay, so that leaves our turn signals. And the turn signals are gonna come out on both sides of the body frame here, one here and one here. So we gotta fish those through. And like I said, this, this is your left turn signal, so it's gonna go on that side over here. And this is a right turn signal, so it's gonna go on this side. So, let's see if we can fish these things through. This is gonna be kind of challenging. And actually, that went uh, a lot better than I thought it was gonna go. Now this one might be a little more difficult because it's on this side with all these wires already going. So basically what I just did was I just kind of pointed it that direction and then run it up through. And I don't know if you guys can see, but the hole is right there, so I'm trying to see if I can kind of get to that hole. Oh, there we go. Got it. So now we push this wiring harness back down in there. And like I said, this is the horn, and this goes to the board, what they call the clamp board. This is what the clamp board looks like right here. And if you open it up, there we go. Okay, this is what they call the clamp board, and it's got these two little I don't know, connector tabs, whatever, and they plug in right here. And then your wires, and then your wires will just lay across there. Now they say these things are hard to come by, and you see this thing was so old and brittle, it just snapped right in my hand. So, yeah, now I'm gonna figure out, I have to figure out what I'm gonna do about that. But we'll figure something out. So, this goes onto the clamp board. Clamp board plugs in here like this. And this goes into the clamp board like this, each little section. And then you'll bring wires down from the handlebar switches that will come down and come in on this side and come into the clamp board and connect with these here. So from your handlebar light switches, turn signal switches, and then of course your horn will go to your horn. All right, so that's the front of the wiring harness. Now we're gonna look at the back of the wiring harness that I have here. And I'm gonna start with this simple set of wires. This is the tail light right here. And it's going to run through, I don't know how well you can see this hole right in here. That's where your tail light wiring runs. And before I stick it through there, I'm going to put a grommet on there. It'll help kind of protect the wiring as well as kind of weatherproof it, I guess. Keep water out of there so much when water's splashing up from the back wheel. So we'll put this grommet on and then we will slip this wire in, these three wires. And I'll put this body grommet on here. And that body grommet will kind of protect the wiring as well as kind of make a little bit of a more of a seal for when it's you know water splashing up in there. So we're gonna run it right through there, just like that. And then the body grommet will have to you kind of have to work it to get it to, to fit in there. Might take a little screwdriver and push this in. And this might be a time actually where it might be easier to put the grommet in first. I did the turn signals, I was able to put the grommet in after I ran the turn signal wires, which was a lot easier. Okay, so the grommet's in, hopefully you can see that. And so now we'll push our wires through. Now our wires through, it's a good tight seal. Then you see your wires come through there. And they got these little tabs for holding the wire. Those tabs just bend over like that. So hopefully you can see those pretty good. So that's the tail light. Okay, so next we're gonna go ahead and run this. This, all this part of the harness, this all runs over to the battery side and the uh, goes to the regulator, the flasher, and the battery. So that's gonna go through the other hole right there. All right, so I think, I think this is a grommet for this hole right here. So this is gonna be a tight, tight squeeze to get all that through that grommet right there. But we're gonna put the grommet in and see Okay, so that grommet is in there. Now let's see if we can get this wiring through there. Uh -huh. That is gonna be a tight fit, but you want it tight to keep the water out. So we'll see if, uh, if we can get all this through there. I don't know. 
seems to be quite a bit, but uh, it was through there before. Uh, okay, so we got it now. We're trying to put our grommet back in. Now we got it all the way through there. Hopefully that's far enough. If not, we'll just have to work it. Work it, girl. All right, we got it. I'll do the magic of video. It'll seem like it went super fast, but that was quite a bear. Hopefully I don't have to pull any more out. Well, I guess maybe it'll, I'll be able to. I'll shoot some lube on it next time. Okay, so that goes there. And now I need to verify where some of these other wires go. I do know that this is the brake wire, so that's gotta go underneath. Okay, so this, these are the brake switch wires, and so they actually need to come back up into the body about right here. So we'll have to push those that direction, and probably what I'll do is get a, a wire and run through there, maybe to fish it through. And then we have these two little wires. This is the right and left turn signals wires that are going to connect to the two little contacts that are going to go in this hole. And then these, this ground wire right here with these two terminal terminals, they're going to connect to this bracket and this bracket right here. And that's where your cowl pins, holders, I don't know what they are, they're little latches that, that hold the cowl in. And that's to complete the circuit for your turn signal that's on the cowl. So keep watching and uh, let me see if I can run this brake wire through here. It's not like I'm going to try to fish something, but I think there's enough room where I can stick my hand out in there. So this is where the brake wires are going to come out. Okay. All right, there you go. That's the brake switch wire right there. Okay, so we covered that up because uh, I'm going to have to come back and do some touch-up painting on this. Actually, I'm, I'm going to put some, maybe some body undercoating or something like that on there to kind of strengthen that up from rocks and stuff flying up under and some 415 on it to make sure we inhibit any rust. So next we're going to put in the, this is the engine, I think they call it the LT junction box portion, as well as the neutral switch. And they're going to go through this, this hole right here, that hole right there. So let's see if we can get these in. So that's the, the neutral switch. And that's the LT junction box cabling right there. And obviously this grommet, probably not gonna stay in there very well, but it'll, it'll suffice, maybe. All right, so there we go. There's that wiring. So now we got all the wiring through the frame. Now we just got to connect the ones on the inside and we're not ready for that yet. Okay, y'all, I think we're gonna wrap this episode up right here. We got most of the hard parts of the wiring strung and done. There's still things I need to address on the wiring, like this board right here that broke. So I'm gonna have to come up with a solution there. We got that, and then we got to connect the terminals down here, the wires down here, so but they don't protrude. So all the wiring is technically run, it's just not all connected. So, hey, I appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully you found this informative and learned something. And if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, you can give me a thumbs down. Either way, we'll take it. Just leave me some comments, good, bad, otherwise, constructive criticisms, encouragements. Anything that I missed, questions you might have that you want answered, please leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to respond as soon as possible, as soon as I can. And if you have any experience doing this, maybe you can leave some good constructive comments that somebody else in our community can learn from. Uh, we'd appreciate it. And check us out on our social media, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, at Libby Cooper, and our blog over at LibbyCooper.com. And if you don't mind, share a video with other people that might be looking for this information. And subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified next time we upload. Check out our other videos. We have lots of other videos from how-tos to reviews to travel. Keep watching and we'll see you guys next time.